Next up on the daily, who'll score the goals tonight in Dallas? Can Hercules turn it around in Torreon? And a key member of the LA Galaxy works his way back. Welcome to the Daily for Wednesday, April 25th with Greg Lawless. I'm Jason Seguini. Big matchup tonight in Dallas as Real Salt Lake comes to town. Traditionally, not a place that Salt Lake likes to go and play. They are 0-8-1 all time in Dallas. And it's not going to be any easier tonight as they are missing two key players. Yeah, Jason, the RSL coming into this one probably, you know, feeling a little bit hard done by last week because of that loss out in San Jose. In particular, because they lost two players in that one. Fabiana Spindola got a red card. No one really argues about that one. Hamison Olave, the center back, also got a red card in that one. Lots of controversy around that call. Both players, however, will not be in the lineup for RSL tonight. Well, they do have one thing to look forward to, and that is Blas Perez will not be in the lineup for FC Dallas. We found out yesterday from the disciplinary committee, Blas Perez gets a one-game suspension, which he'll serve tonight for an elbow. Yeah, he elbowed Jordan Harvey in their game up at Vancouver over the weekend, that 1-0 loss for Dallas. And, you know, I think the disciplinary committee got this right. Got to get the elbows out of the game as soon as possible. What does that do for tonight's game? Well, it's going to change, I think, the attack for Dallas because they've been going through Blas Perez a lot. He has been the catalyst. Breck Shea has to turn it up. He hasn't really looked like the Breck Shea of old yet. On the other side, RSL probably a little bit happy. No Olave, so, and they don't have to deal with Perez now. So what does that do for them? They're going to have to be a little more cautious on the flanks, though, because that's where the attack for Dallas is going to come. All right, remember Javier Morales played 77 minutes in that game in San Jose. We'll see if he can turn it around quickly and go here because obviously when he's on the field, it makes Alvaro Sabrio that much better. That game tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time on MLS Live and the direct kick package. And don't forget, because there's midweek action, set your fantasy teams today. Of course, there is another big game going on tonight down in Torreon, Mexico, the final of the Champions League. This is the second leg as Santos hosts Monterey. Of course, Hercules Gomez and his Santos team, though, have a lot of work to do to turn around a 2-0 deficit. Yeah, they went up to Monterey, and Humberto Suazo was very good in the first leg, and we know what he can do when he wants to turn it on. However, he will not be playing in this one because he's suspended for this one. It looks good for, for Santos in this. Santos have looked tremendous when they're at home. We know they can attack, and Hercules Gomez has been the focal point in Champions League for them, particularly at home. Can he turn it on again? We'll see what he can do, because he has said, Jurgen Klinsmann has gotten in touch, sent him a couple texts saying, we are watching. If he can get Santos Laguna into the Club World Cup by winning the CONCACAF Champions League final, including getting a victory tonight against uh, Monterrey, a very good Monterrey team. That would be a huge step both for Hercules Gomez and for this club as well, because they've said they want to become one of the biggest clubs in the world. Well, we'll see how that goes. All right, well, that came 8 p.m. tonight on Fox Soccer Channel, so you can watch that on your TV while you watch the Real Salt Lake Dallas game on your computer. Now let's take a look at this week's Castrol Index. We're starting with the weekly index. So, of course, Chris Pontius finds himself on top after a hat trick against the New York Red Bulls. Yeah, a hat trick will do that. And a couple of goals will also get you into the top five. Two players from San Jose in there, Kari Stevenson and Simon Dawkins, who each had a goal in their victory against Real Salt Lake. And Aurelian Collin finds himself on the list again. Last week he was number three. This week he's number four. And as we switch over to the overall Castrol Index, you'll find Aurelian Collin there at the number five position. Well, that's because he's become a scoring threat for sporting. Another sporting player also there, Kai Kamara at number two. But it's Thierry Henry from the New York Red Bulls who is up at the top of the overall Castro Index. All right, that's your Castro Index update for this week. You can check out MLSsoccer.com slash Castro for more information. We've seen some struggles from the LA Galaxy backline so far this season. Of course, they are without Omar Gonzalez, who was injured. But another guy who was starting for them last season, who's been out for a long time, is Leonardo. Leonardo finally gets back on the field for the Galaxy. Yeah, he went 15 minutes for the Galaxy reserves in a match against the LA Blues. And that is the first step toward getting back to the first team for them. They've tried so many different combinations back there, whether it's Andrew Boyens, Tommy Meyer, AJ De La Garza has played in there. They made the trade with Chivas. USA to get David Junior Lopez. Now they have that guy that they know they can feel good about. If he's back within the next month or so, that will do wonders for their defense because it's really the center back position where they have struggled the most. Out on the flanks, they're fine. We know that they're going to be fine out there with Donovan and Sean Franklin, or if you put AJ De La Garza out there. 
in the middle, that's the problem. If Leonardo's back, look out for the rest of Western Conference if they get Leonardo back in the middle of the defense. All right, a couple of things to check out before we go. Team of the Week came out yesterday. I know fans love to chat about who should be on, who shouldn't be on. You can check that out on the site. And then also, the Power Five continues to count down. We saw Pavel Pardo and Pablo Mastroeni. We're looking at midfield generals, of course. Stay tuned all week to MLSsoccer.com to see who ends up number one on that list. And we'll be back on The Daily tomorrow. <laughs>